times Where we post it every Friday See them corner emojis and you know a nigga wildin' I'm a Jada Gemini to the day I die And I'ma talk my shit, but I don't play both sides with nah. It's your favorite YouTube couple back again. We in the top five, at least, whatever. Yeah, today we're about to be talking about some creepy stuff. So, Ooh. if you're into creepy... Um, Spooky stuff, dookie. I was going to say uh, paranormal, but... Ooh, scary. I don't know. Scary. So, if you guys haven't heard, you guys may have, about Pastor Gerald Johnson here. I'm looking at him on the screen. My bad. Here, here y'all can look at him, too. He looks real um, familiar. He is alive. I know his eyes closed, but he's alive. He did have a near-death experience, though. And um, he went to the bad place. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're still in the beginning, no, so I'm really no, no. trying to choose my words wisely. Not he, y'all can't tell. Like, not, I'm really trying. I'm really trying because I've been waiting to find him. He went to, to the shadow realm, Nadja? He went to the okay, shadow realm. Okay, just to kill time. <laughs> just, just a quick thing. Nadja told me the other day, because Nadja used to watch a whole bunch just of Yu-Gi-Oh. Just to kill some time, right. She's talking right about, right. you know, in the, the original Yu-Gi-Oh, there was never a shadow realm. I'm like, where, where, what happened to them? She was like, they died. I'm like, what the <laughs> Hey, Kunami was like, no, no, no. Won't be oh none of that. God. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. U.S. censorship was like, oh, no, we can't scare the kids. Like, How are we going to sell them the toys? Oh, no. Adults aren't going to buy these toys. Oh, no. Oh. Shadow Realm. Oh. And then mm -hmm. I told you, I was like, Daniel, they obliterated. They atomized. <laughs> Bro, they were. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Mm. What did they say on Mommy Dearest? Jesus. 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 Anyways, yeah, he went to Apparently he went, he to, went the to the underworld. Shadow Realm. Yeah. He said he went to the underworld. He went to the underworld. <laughs> Welcome to the underworld. Oh my goodness. He went to the freaking to this underworld. 3-6 Mafia CD. We're going to listen to uh his story and then we're going to listen to somebody else's um NDE who also said they went to the shadow realm. And it, I immediately thought of him when I heard this story because the other guy's story stuck with me for a long time. Like, I don't know. But <laughs> let's listen oh, to man. Pastor Jeremy. That's got to feel so bad when you devote what, your right? whole like, life what? to Christ. What? And then you, <laughs> you, you kick like, the you bucket me? and then you just... You just get down there and just, I, I'd imagine you just hear like heavy metal, like some, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Look, my just heavy is, bass, double bass. I don't know. <laughs> this is horrible because I'm just like, dude, why wouldn't you just keep that to yourself? Definitely would have kept, kept that, that in the drafts, my boy. And just tried to do better. Like, Definitely would have kept that I in the drafts. I feel like he probably did some. Could have did something. He was down there listening to Judas Priest. I feel like he did something. Because, like, oh what boy. did... I don't know. Here, I'm just Abnormal. Oh, yes. Uh, absolutely. I saw the real hell. I was there. And I wouldn't <laughs> wish that upon my worst enemy. I don't care what a person has done to me. I would never wish that on them. Um, I hope but For not. me, the way it went is that I thought that I was having a heart attack. And uh, I physically... My, my spirit left my physical body, oh, wow. and I thought that I was going upward, but because uh, I had, thought I had done so much good in this lifetime and helped so many people and made so many positive. decisions that were godly. Yeah, he was like that Tom and Jerry episode where he was going up. <laughs> he was going up, and then he just kept floating down, and he was trying to run. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> oh, he's on like an escalator, and it's just like. Yes, just <laughs> and it just disappeared. Like, bro, you had the whole episode to do good. Oh, no. You That's remember a the clean kittens burning in the bag? Hill, I'll tell you what. In heaven, babe. Huh? When he remember he in the beginning of the episode, Tom went to heaven first. Yeah, they were like, and "Oh, were you kittens. spent your whole life tormenting a mouse for somewhere to stay." Bruh. Horrible. I was gonna <clears throat> say if you remember the the kittens in the bag. Oh, Lord. I didn't get it when I was younger, but I was like, "Damn." <sighs> Slip not on repeat. Up, I went down. And I went literally into literally into the center of the earth, and that that's where hell is. Jesus even said that in the scriptures. He says, uh, "Just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a whale, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the belly of the earth." Uh, so what did you do? That's what um, I'm saying. The things that I 
sorrow were literally undescribable and it just brings it makes me emotional every time I talk about it. But uh it was uh one of the one of the things that I saw that just blew me away was there's a man on, on all fours like a dog. Um, he was pod. burned from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet and his eyes were bulging out. And what was uh, worse than that is that he had a chain around his neck. He was so the he was dude like he dog, was a dog. Yeah. He was probably somebody was, that was, was fighting pits or something. That, who was holding the chain. It, it was a demon holding the chain. And I knew because they're it things not not, they're not said, they're known. You just it's like a telepathic communication. Um, I knew that this demon was sent in this nominate. man's life to ride him from his childhood until the time that he died, because the demon what? knew that if I could stay in his life long enough on the earth, if I can keep getting him to not serve God and to make bad decisions on the earth, then I'll have power over him in hell and he'll be a slave to me. My boy, so what like, you got going on, my boy? So so definitely you saw a dude pits, bro. my dog was on a um a trip okay so you saw a dude with the eyeballs bulging out uh, all, all fours, fours and with he a, had with chains a chain on, on he had collars it was nigga Namo. that's what i'm saying like so what are you trying to say we need to not buy <laughs> chains, was fight no pits more in, chains the, in the community in the underworld oh man this no is more chains in the community oh lord I'm confused, man. Listen so he said he's gonna be a slave. Tapes. He gonna be a slave to the demon. And he just said, "Keep doing bad things." That's what he said. A slave is like you're a slave on the earth to the things of the devil, and then in hell, you're you're really like a tormented dog. So he dog was talking slave. about the change. You need to stop watching uh, so, the movies, and my then boy. There's another part that I experienced. I always because I got he was my watching doubts. Constantine. Always, Whenever somebody who has something to benefit from the church be talking about stuff like this, I always got to tread light. And True. bro over here talking True. about he saw somebody with chains on. And now you talking about some, oh, if you a slave to something in real life, you going to be a slave to something. Bro, you cap. I don't even, I don't know about you, bro. You're cap. You're trying to send, sell a narrative. It just blew me away. I just, I'm, it still baffles me to this day. If there was a section in hell where music was playing and it was the oh. same music that we hear on the earth but as a so uh entertainers singing it uh the music demons were singing it oh no it was some of the same lyrics that we hear here um and then again things like i said that they're not things are not telepathically they're te things are telepathically known there i knew that on earth a lot of the lyrics and the music and the songs are inspired by demons so sometimes people... i mean that that is a theory that i've heard <sighs> long not only music but art itself you know like there's there's a lot of different theories that go hand in hand with that but some people call it demons some people call it um inspiration some people call it a lot of different things so i'm not going to totally tarnish you know that I think thought that there are a there. lot of personal uh projections predispositions nice um being projected oh, onto true. all of us from him right now because it's like you're trying to demon i don't know who you are or who your connections are but it's giving illuminati jay-z beyonce rihanna like Bro, he's seen the videos on World Star some, back in the day. He no, <laughs> seriously, you're over here talking about some you wearing chains in the real life. You're gonna be a slave to demons. You listen to certain music in real life, the demons gonna be singing it to you while they're torturing you in hell. And it's like, bro, you got your own narrative going on. Like, and then obviously, we don't have proof of the afterlife. I'm not trying to say, like, you know, there's a way to tell a near death experience, but out of all the people I've heard, it's so emotional. It's so descriptive. It it this isn't. My dog he said he felt like he was like, having a stroke. Oh, you know it's telepathic. So like, and it's like, what are you talking My about? My dog bro? said he ate them Popeyes biscuits too fast. He drank the cooler. ran out of air. To dry. Get high and, and to to get lyrics and to get verses and, and rappers and all those things. Now we're into the anti -drug. So in a lot of music, people actually smoke to get high, to get verses and to get bars and to be hot and to be fresh and uh, to get, get bars. That, that swag. But when they open themselves up uh, to a false high, it's like illegal access into the spirit realm. They All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause it.
The Dude, Shadow that is Rome. like some real, real uh, Ronald Reagan rooted ideology that you just came Wake with, up, bro. Man. Because throughout history, uh, quote unquote, you know, getting lift, get lifted, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, like that that has great uh correlations with spirituality and you know religions that predate Christianity. I'm not ever going to talk bad on JC. I know JC was a cool dude, but I think it's duly disrespectful to you know put that out there like that when I mean historically that's just untrue, bro. I feel like Kirk Franklin might be blowed sometimes. Kirk Franklin Definitely. I had to think of who you were talking about for a second. I mean, I'm just saying, dog. It is what it is. But Definitely. yeah, dog. I don't think that's fair. Purpose of controlling people on the earth. So uh, there, see here, music is for like to get over a breakup. Don't worry, be happy. Uh, bust the windows of the car. Right? Or, uh, I, I Not you coming at way. Jasmine Sullivan. Uh, there, every Rihanna to every song is to torment you. Slave. As to the fact that you didn't worship God through music when you were on the earth, so it's like you know you had. So to you got to listen to the gospel. You got to listen to the gospel. You have to pay me for my gospel music. You can't just listen to anybody music, bro. You got to listen to my music so you can get into heaven. I'm about to listen to Kirk. And then you got to cross dress for Jesus. <laughs> like y'all not even. Doing I'm gonna watch Tyler to Perry doing. movies every day, and get I'm gonna listen it. to Kirk Franklin, and. If I ever have a son, you know what I'm going to call him, just like Kirk. Jim. Chance to worship him in church and worship him at home and worship him through music, but you chose to uh, worship Satan by repeating the lyrics that he inspired to come into the earth. So uh, there's people there. Now, they that, say he's the, the angel of uh, music in, and, uh, in that, you know. Uh, I was so, I was angry with, with, with God. Hold that thought, because we could talk more about that on the uh, Patreon and True, on the highlight, but... All I'm going to say is, is that there is interpretations of good and bad. And what's good for you is always bad for somebody else. Fair. Especially if there's going to be a um, financial gain. Anytime there's financial gain, like shit, your, is there. Your enemy got a family, too. That's how I think of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you remember, what what was that? They're like, <laughs> not in front yeah, of my son. And it's lying. like, bro, I got a son, too. Like, you, you would little, do it in front of my son. Not in front of, <laughs> in front of my son. Of my son please. Yeah, She's it like, is nah, what it bro. is. Now, I'm not going to lie. When, when he's like, oh, this happened in 2016, I feel like this was a dream that he had after he watched Constantine and listened to that new Jay-Z album. But I'm telling you, I feel like he watched the TV show I'm about to show y'all. True. And he was like, ooh, I see how I could use this and manipulate people. Cause I had like, a nightmare, too. And then, bro, what the fuck's going on in your background? Like... Are you about to go on a freaking vacation on a train in the 1920s? Like, what's going on? <laughs> you about to miss a a, a propeller like aircraft takeoff? We're on. We have to get to Hogwarts. Like, Casablanca. He's, on, he's in a black and white Oh, no. Movie. We can't even joke about Hogwarts. He's going to go to hell. He's in film show. noir. Oh, dude. They... <laughs> bruh. You know he's... And that's blasphemous. You was talking about Hogwarts. <laughs> bruh. Harry my Baptist stepdad burned up all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They probably were worth thousands of dollars. You said he was on he said that like an aircraft carrier in like Dubai or something, and he's seen dudes gambling with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He was like, "Yeah, this, uh, oh, uh, 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 these is yeah, these is sorcery." The sorcery. Like, it's holographic. It was bro, the chill. dark magician. He was like, "Yep, you're done. <laughs> you're done." Blue eyes, what? 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 You're done. <laughs> Get out of here. Because it's like, how, how did I do this much good and? And I'm actually, um, I'm actually in hell. Well, oh, no. I lifted up out of hell and I came back. You're in the, the bad earth, place. And God began to speak. pause. You didn't have any judgment. That's how I know. Like again, there's no proof of this. But usually, because of just how we are in human nature, I always see this pattern of people having like some sort of judgment. And right. it may not be an entity being like you're bad, you're good, but more so like you could stay here or you could go back. Or they put you on like a GTA mission, like around. If if I feel like if it's around Christmas time, 
That, you get to see like a Christmas miracle and then you might get like a redo oh my to gosh. do your life better. Or you just be floating above yourself in the hospital. That's a common one I always hear. And then they just be, oh my God, y'all, I saw you. A y'all. lot of times that happens to people while they're alive too. Yeah. When they like just. Like they slipping away. Yeah, for sure. Very no, I'm talking creepy. about like totally alive, but just like. In like a coma? Coma, trying to blank something out totally because it's horrendous mm-hmm. or something it shock utter shock you like go blind or that happens <laughs> speak to me i actually saw the real jesus i saw him Hi, bro so you saw you jesus you saw jesus in hell you have you, been sick huh? and jesus upset in with hell. The people that hurt stop you. playing um you have been hoping that i would punish the I people that hurt something. you he said these are not your people these are my people he says i only want you to focus on the assignment that i'm giving you because i want to do something through you that the world hasn't seen it was crazy. Uh, so the root of it is that although I did good, I gave a lot to people. I, I, I did a whole lot of good things. The thing that I had in this my heart the was unforgiveness towards people who had did me wrong. Because unforgiveness. Person I, can't we miss, I was just too busy, you know, doing me. I, he was giving me the judgment. He, he got judged by Jesus, and then Jesus hit the button on him. My he said, you ain't is, forgive enough. Is usually the judgment... If you're subconscious, you go to hell. Why do you think Jesus? Okay, I'm I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but usually the the experience that I see, they see Jesus before they go there. That's what he just said. <laughs> he did I not think. see Jesus before he went to hell. He said he died and went to hell, and then magically he started floating up, and Jesus was like, "Hey, bruh, I'm God, not you." You need to forgive these people you're expecting me to smack up because that's not how this works. Really interesting he's adding karma into Christianity. But nonetheless, a lot of the NDEs I've heard where they go to hell, they say the beginning starts off great. I see in my family, things are good. And all of a sudden it gets dark. <laughs> and, then, and then you see, like, bro, that's what I was seeing all the time. Yeah, hot. Was, you start smelling so Bruh, bruh. Nah, on some like, real Damn. though. But it usually I think is this some was subconscious a guilt trip. shit. Yes, it's usually some this subconscious shit. This was a guilt trip, shit. bro. This yes. was a nightmare, bro. I Where don't... it's like, damn, I need to get my shit together. Yeah, I think this is a nightmare because... Mm, nightmare, nightmare. I don't think well, here, nobody would have been coming mic. to you like that, bro. I'm going to cut his know. mic because we are stretching a little bit. My boy said they was listening to Jasmine Sullivan and Rihanna. Rihanna Umbrella. Hell. See, so that's this, the problem, though, bro. I don't like how, you know, certain things just be trying to guilt trip you like that to the point where you have having nightmares just because you didn't forgive somebody. And we we could talk about it later because I, I know some textures sometimes, you know, when I'm thinking. You know what? Thinking, Forget it because I do want y'all to hear this in the in the highlight. Me personally, and I could be freaking wrong. This is just my opinion. I feel like he did something to somebody and he wants them to forgive him. It's giving manipulation. And his profession, I got to look at things a certain way. I feel like he and usually pastors, they put their own shit in the sermon and shit. And I feel like he's gaslighting somebody to forgive him or to forgive one of his homeboys or some shit in the church. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Because it's like, you mean to tell me you went to hell because, and I'm sorry, again, this is what I wanted to talk about on Patreon, but like with Christianity, specifically with black people it's like bro so you mean to tell me you got sent to hell because someone did something bad to you and you're still hurt that's a damnable offense you get what i'm saying yeah that don't make sense I mean, My it does God make sense say that if, to somebody. If you're, if you're, like, if you've been guilt trip, no, because that's the design. If anything, of it all. I would nah. imagine and be like, oh, you've nah. been in pain for a long time. Nah. Like, damn. No. Nah, nah. bro, you over here talking about, bro, you trying don't to. Don't even sugarcoat blah, blah, blah. it. Like, what? No, don't sugarcoat Man, it. That's look. the design. Whether it's, oh, I got to give the 10% to sow something or I got to, you know, forgive. Yeah. Like, that's, that's really not how this goes, for real. You should forgive people because it, it takes more to. Right. You know what I'm saying? To, then but to at keep the end that of the on day, chest, right? I don't think because I think there's so much more to life and I think life and death is so cause and effectual that 
um, just one mere instance, unless you spend your whole life devoted to trying to just like shy somebody. I don't think it's getting brought up like that. And especially, bro, you're a pastor. You should know what your book says, bro. Come on. You should know what 316 says, bro. Like, come on, bro. Don't do that, dog. It's funny you said that because in the beginning of this show, they definitely always put. What does it say? Right there. Dang, that's it right yep. there. Hold on, I'm nah, it was just right there. Though, right? Yeah, I was just about to tell you, stop cussing so much on this video about Jesus, Nigel. What is wrong no, with you? No, but I used to watch this show when I was Tripping. like in middle school. <laughs> and I'm being so They were real. trying to scare you into submission. No. Nah, and like at first I was they like, are you. these actors and stuff? Like when I was later in life, but like now as an adult, looking back at the, my different phases of trying to dissect. Because I'm telling y'all, this story stuck with me. Because I used to watch this show with the celebrities saying their near-death experiences. And nah, I get it real. It was trippy, but it was never negative. Listen. This was negative. Yeah. But there was a positive later on. But the fact, he, I've never heard of anybody going to hell. I've never heard of that. I have. I've never. Bro, what? Naja, they took me to go see Passion of the Christ when I was like 10. It, it, they want to make you a... No, I see. Let's, let's of listen to my too. boy's story, bro. We, we yeah, I fast we forward it. Um, obviously, we can't watch it all, but you got the whole episode. If y'all want to watch it, this is the title. Go and watch it. And after that, I, I would did not expect his voice to sound out. Like if you oh, will. just for context, how he passed, he was in a pool at a hotel with his kids, nieces, and nephews, and he could not swim. Doesn't that sound way better than? Oh, I think I had a stroke. I was asleep. I think, yeah, no, like, he was actually at a hotel on video. vacation and it wasn't even that polarizing. Yeah, he um drowned. How and you have a near death experience that's not even that you can't the even... kids he's supposed to be watching the kids. The kids don't notice he's drowned. So they're still playing and shit. So he was he dead drowned for and some he time. still knows what happened. Yeah. That's crazy. Cause the first dude was just like, I think I, I, <laughs> hmm. So this is him. I guess dead. it comes in different ways. They think he playing. What do you, do you think he's just trying to set a world record? I was about to say, where's the timer minutes. at? I'm coming through the door and I can see all the kids from across the room standing along the pool. And they're just looking out into the pool. And I don't see my brother. So, you know, I'm asking them, you know, where's my side? And they all get to pointing down in the pool type of feeling oh he hit his head Damn. five minutes bruh see this is why i'm like bro the human body is dead, crazy dead, dead. Son. that boy was, was out just, of there you know just limp no reaction no just nothing and not just he has to dive he has the underwater the it, it, world it, it record. definitely made me feel like it couldn't be real There was no one I would at the front desk. To... So I went up I the stairs. I could too. hear her. Your pool is too shallow and rectangular. Going, where's my purse? Where's my purse? I gotta get to my baby. She just. Where's your purse? Seeing the bubbles and feeling like I had was you know in water or drowning, I felt better because now I was in the situation where it seemed like I was okay. I wasn't hurt, and there was a nurse that looked just like my girlfriend. <laughs> we exchanged ah. a glance with each other. Um, and the smile was was very comforting. It's almost like I'm a, a up to a blackout again. It's like a, like a, just complete darkness. You see how descriptive he is, though, compared to bro? Yeah, he ain't they talking about no re -arm. Voices in this darkness. Now that just was scared of her. <laughs> They're just saying stuff like, it's okay. Um, you're going you're gonna to be all right. Don't be afraid. It hits me at this point that I'm not dreaming. It was apparent that I was dead. Brad. I'm going to fast forward to when he see the damn. See, and here's my thing. You in hell. Where was the devil, bro? Man. My dog described seeing the devil, bro. This shit scared the hell out of me, bro. I don't know, man. How he lucky enough to see the devil? Here, I'm going to just skip to when he see the damn devil. He said that man was 12 feet. Bro, this scared me, Just bro. 12 feet? What do you mean, just? <laughs> I don't you know, know bro. I would imagine him to be a little stuff. taller than that, bro. So I'm going I'm to fast forward a little bit again because we don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> if you want to see the full thing, click on it. He said when he was in that dark room with all the voices, 
he heard his grandmother's voice. And he was like, oh, my gosh, this is a voice I know. Like, hey, I, oh, my gosh, hi. And she said, this is not where you need to be, but you need to stay strong for what's about to happen. And he was like, what? The, what are you talking about? She was like, hey, remember, you don't belong here, but you need to stay strong for what's about to happen to you. And this is what's about to happen afterwards. So I began to see there's like gold coins goblets, all types of gold items. Fear grew with each step that this seems like you're dead. This is death. That's hell. I started to see a figure okay. sitting there. Oh, bro. And he's sitting not in a, oh, a throne, but he's actually sitting in this heap of gold. Pretty on brand. He's enormous at least 12 feet into the air. Just sitting there with a menacing look on his face, almost like a bull's head, but with a human face. So it was really big, deep, like blood red. You know how blood is like almost black, but red. Right. He's really I believe him. I believe that he believes what he saw. Him, he sounds like he he talking like a con. <laughs> bro, sound like he's telling a freaking <laughs> lifetime story. He sound story, like he got the bro. fear of God in his heart, Th bro. Thank you. That's all <laughs> that's I wanted what he to sound like. Man. That's all I wanted y'all to see because hell's hot. Yeah, if y'all want to see the rest of this, we're gonna be watching it on Patreon because I know y'all in the chat want to keep seeing this. So yeah, but hey, bro. Regardless of what you believe, you know, hold it down, stay positive out here because yeah, you know there's a lot of nobody knows. Nobody yeah, knows. Nobody knows for sure. Nobody knows. Nobody knows for sure. And regardless of what fear, you believe geez. in, faith is very important because it will help you on your ride out. Like ask any old person in your family that's close to it. They'll agree. Like, I just hate how every religion just makes something so omnipotent seem so petty. Shoot, Jewish people don't even believe in hell. Most most <laughs> like most don't. most religious Confucianism, Buddhism, like a lot of things they don't believe in hell. Like Nah, it, it's just it, a good way know, to get like, that uh them residuals. So I hope we're not scaring anybody out there. But yeah, if you want to see more of this, yeah, hit us I mean, up on dog, do your thing out there.